Hello. Thanks for tuning in to another. My name is Miss Battle. Oh, yeah, it's a beautiful day as usual. Every day ought to be a beautiful day because this is the day that the Lord has made. And let us be glad. Yes, yes, yes. So, we're out of the book of Matthew. I'm going to start Mark. And all week I've been saying, you know, I'm thinking about Mark and, you know, how I got to introduce Mark first. But then, but then, but then, I keep getting led back to this. And so this is where I'm going to go today. And at the end, we're going to pray because this is what this is all about. It's none of me. It's all of God. Let's give God his glory. Father God, I just thank you. I glorify your name. For you are God, a wonderful, mighty counselor. He will keep you. God will keep you if you want to be kept, okay? Thank you, Lord. And I just say, give you glory. And I bow down to you because that's what it's all about. And I guess that's what the prayer is going to be about. Uh, so let's just jump right on into the reading. And where I'm coming from is Second Chronicles, because I say this scripture all the time. And so I said, let me read it to them now. <laughs> so instead of that scripture, I just went on. I said, okay, let me go before that. Let me, let me read before that. So I said, let me just read chapter 7. So we're in the second book, Old Testament, the second Chronicles, starting at the seventh chapter and we read this okay the way I guess I gotta set it up because this is Solomon this is Solomon after he done achieved he done built the temple of God because that was his desire um, to do that and so now he done built the temple and now they're dedicating the temple and, I, and the reason why I guess the reason why the Lord wants me to go here is because we got to dedicate ourselves. We are the temple. I need you to understand that. We are the temple of God. The temple is within you. Now, here's a really major, major thing. If the temple of God is in you, because he said it is, because we are the light of the world, once we are truly, truly, come to Christ. When we truly de de decide to, f to follow Christ, again, God don't change. His structures don't change. His concepts don't change. His precepts, they do not change. And, and when I say that, let me break that down to even a lower denominator because that just means his law don't change. What he said then, he, he still mean it now. Um, so his order, his order do not change. And so when we learn more, when we, when we, when you get more understanding, it ought to change your life. Okay. Okay. This is, we do know that this is a life long process. Know that. So I'm not saying, and, and I, I must say this. And um, giving God all the glory. And that's why I say read it for yourself. Don't take my word for it. I'm just Miss Battle. I'm just out here trying to use my time wisely, okay? I'm not trying to be nobody. And we already know where I, where I'm, where I stand. And I'm going to say it again. So if, if it's unclear to anybody, I don't believe in, in women pastors. you just out of order. You are out of order. But that's my belief. I'm not asking you to believe that. You believe what you want to believe until the Lord convicts you. Okay? And because the Bible tells us God chastises the, those he loves. Oh yeah, he gets you. If he called you to do a thing or two, do that thing or two. Okay? He ain't going to force you to do it. But it's our duty to do the will of God. That is what we pray. I, I guess that's what y'all pray. Let thy will be done. That's what you should be praying. 
And that is what the prayer today will be about. But what I had to say that because let me say this. When you truly change whatever mess, whatever sin you're dealing with, it, it's gonna keep it's gonna keep bothering you because it's got to bother you. If you are not bothered by your sin, check the salvation. Okay, that's all I got to say. Because a, a child of God cannot waddle in sin. Yeah, we all fall short. No man's perfect. We all fall short. It's a lifetime thing. But it's a decision to choose if you who you gonna serve each day. Whom you gonna serve? Is you gonna serve the Lord or is you gonna serve self? See, we blame a whole lot of things on the devil. <laughs> yeah, we do. Yeah, we devil, 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 and devil I didn't do all of that. You did that because you wanted to do that. <laughs> That's self. We want to satisfy the self. And my thing is, and this is, you hear nothing else I say, hear this. Because the ones that truly, that has truly uh, professed Christ, they sin convicts them. They feel bad. You should. You grieve in the Holy Spirit. That is within you. If the Holy Spirit is in you and you doing and you done sin, don't you know you grieve in the Holy Spirit because you should be grieved. It should bother you. It should bother you. And, and if you let it bother you and don't attend to that thing, then it don't bother you no more. It don't bother you no more. Now it's just a part of your behavior. Oh, God help me. Let's read. Anyway, this is Solomon dedicating the temple. You are the temple. Dedicate your body because that's what the New Testament tells about. You are dedicating your body as a living sacrifice, okay? So you're going to sacrifice your thinking. I'm, I don't want to think this way. That's why we got to pray. I don't want to think this way, Lord, because when we, the further we go in Christ, the deeper we get in Christ, the more his will become our will. The, our prayers are not our prayers. They become his prayers. Oh, okay. Oh, that's all I'm saying. Let your sin convict you. Just and let your sin beat you up till you be broken. And that's another thing. Because true, true people of God, body of God, when we are turning, see, we got to be broken. That's what the scriptures say. God wants a person that has been with the humble themselves, with the broken and a contrite heart. It's all scripture. And a contrite heart is a broken heart. When, when he breaks us, because he do, as a, as a body, as a person that's in the body of Christ, you got to be broken. You got to be broken, okay? Because that's then and only then, once you or is has been broken, then and only then will you see con 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 conviction and conversion. And you you got to because being broken is being broken from self. That's what we gotta talk about. Being broken from self, self desires. Self will, self. So once you, once God break you of that, because it ain't self no more. You've been broken, and now you ready to walk, walk that walk, talk that talk. Yeah, let's read chapter seven. Now, when Solomon again, this is Solomon. This is after David. This is David's son Solomon. Now he God done blessed him. He done passed it on and. He asked Solomon, what do you want, Solomon, out of all the things in the world? And Solomon asked him for wisdom to, so that I can be able to discern this whole body of Israel. Because in that time, where they were one. They were one. Yeah, they were one. And when they would get in trouble, they called all the tribes. And if you don't come, oh, but we ain't going to get into that. I love Second Chronicles. I love First Second. I love the Old Testament. Anywho, 
So this is Solomon and and his and uh, all his what God has blessed him with. He's dedicating it now. So we got to dedicate our body for real. I don't care how many times you got to do do it, do it. If, if the Lord say to you, it's time for you to do this. It's time for you to walk away. It's time for you to say that because there's a time. That's what scriptures say. There's a time for everything under the sun. If there's a time that we can plant, we can plant. But then there's also a time where we got to pluck. We got to pluck it up. There's a time where we love. But then there's also a time where we got to hate. You, We're living in that time right now. I don't know if you realize it or not. But we're in a time you got to hate. Didn't he say there's a time and a season for everything? There's a time for love and there's a time for hate. That's scripture. Not hate people. Hate this time that we're living in right now because it ain't nothing nice. Let's read. Now, when Solomon had made an end of praying, and the fire came down from heaven and consumed the burnt offering and the sacrifices and the glory of the Lord filled that house. He will fill you. He will fill you. He will fill that house. Okay? But you got to, you got to, you got to get rid of some of that darkness. You, all of it. But it's, it's a process. It's a process. Work on one thing, okay? And let God, you know, let God move. Only God is the one that changes us. We can say what we want to say, and we can act the way we want to act. But unless God gives you understanding of the word of God, because don't nobody else give you that. Can't nobody give you that. God said, if you called, if you called him Lord, if, you, if Jesus is Lord of your life, Can't none, no world, nobody in the world can, can say that unless God gave that to you to say it. You got to speak it. Jesus is Lord of my life. And if Jesus is not the Lord of your life, if he's not, if you cannot utter those words out of your mouth, then he ain't. He's not yours. <laughs> he's not the Lord of your life. You still the Lord of your own life. You the captain of your own ship. Let's read. <laughs> But, and the priest could not enter into the house of the Lord because the glory of the Lord had filled the Lord's house. He will fill you. The Holy Spirit will fill you, okay? And when all the children of Israel saw how the fire came down and the glory of the Lord upon the house, they bowed themselves with their faces to the ground upon the pavement and worshiped. And praise the Lord, saying, For he is good, for his mercy endures forever. And I say that his mercy endures forever. Forever. And then the king and all the people offered sacrifices before the Lord. And King Solomon offered a sacrifice of 20 and 2,000 oxen and 120,000 sheep. So the king and all the people dedicated the house of God. You got to dedicate yourself to God. You do. You do. You don't have to. He ain't going to force you to. You, you know, but if you want to live in the kingdom of God, <laughs> he's got to be the Lord of your life. He got to be the king of your life. And you got to dedicate yourself to him. I'm just keeping it 100. Yeah, I'm keeping it 100. Let's read. And the priests waited on their office and their offices and the Levites also with instruments of music of the Lord, which David the king had made to praise the Lord, because his mercy endures forever. And when David praised by their, mis by their mystery, mis ministry, and the priest sounded the trumpet before them, and all of Israel stood. And moreover, Solomon hollowed the middle of the court that was before the house of the Lord. For there he offered burnt offering and fat of, and the fat of the peace offering because of the, the brazen altar which Solomon had made was not able to receive the burnt offering and the meat offering and the fat offering. They had so many offerings. They gave so much. They gave. They gave. Freely they gave. 
and Solomon just was the, the richest man alive and the wisest man alive, you know. He, he, wrote, these, he wrote these proverbs and these psalms. <sighs> the thing is, they had so much that the altar can't even take it, you know. So, also, at the same time, Solomon kept the feast of seven days and all of Israel with him, a, great, a very great congregation, from the entering of Hamath into the river of Egypt. And in the eighth day, they made a solemn assemble, for they kept the dedication of the altar seven days and the feast seven days. And on the third and twenty day of the seventh month, he sent the people away into their tents, glad and merry in heart, for the goodness of the Lord has shown unto David and to Solomon and to Israel his people. Okay, we know now when Jesus came not to fulfill the law because he didn't. The law still stands. But what he came is for our sins. He was the final sacrifice. We don't need no more bulls and we don't need no more sheep and goats. And we need none of that because that is the purpose of Jesus Christ dying on the cross. His blood. They used sacrifice for the blood. And so his blood, Jesus Christ, when he died, that was the final sacrifice for your sin. Don't keep bringing that. He said, I'm going to die once and for all. Once and for every mankind. For every mankind, not just his people. When Jesus came, he, he didn't twist the whole thing around. He said, I'm... I came to the Gentiles is who I'm after. I'm after. I'm after the sick people. I'm after the hurt people. I'm after the broken people because the Jews, they know, they already know. They know so much. They're so knowledgeable in their law that, you know, they walked around with scripture, you know. They were so knowledgeable until they were blind. So knowledgeable. But you're blind. Oh, God, let's finish. And that's Solomon. So we. So the point I'm getting to is, we. There's no longer sacrifice for sin, for bull offering and all of these offerings. Jesus Christ, body, hung on a cross. They pierced him in his side, blood and water. I can get deep. For yours and mine's and yours and the whole world sin. So once you become Saved, you accept Jesus Christ as your Lord and Savior. Truly, when you truly accept Him, it'll be a prick in your heart. I'm trust me, I'm telling you what I know. It'll be a prick in your heart to want to do the will of God. And that's when, like I said, the sanctification don't come when you get saved first. It just don't come. And don't let nobody tell you that. It, it, it jumped. Sanctification is a process that comes after you have accepted, after you have been broken. Oh, I got to keep going because I got to read this. Thus Solomon finished the house of the Lord and the king's house and all that came into Solomon's heart to make in the house of the Lord and his own house. He prosperously effected. He did everything for the Lord house. He, and then he went on to fix up his house. And, and okay. And the Lord appeared to Solomon by night and said unto him, I have heard thy prayer and have chosen this place to myself for a house of sacrifice. And if I shut up the heavens that there be no rain, or if I command the locusts to devour the land, or if I send pestilence, among my people, if my people, which are called by my name, and this is what the scripture I always say in this scripture, shall humble themselves. So once you come into Christ, you better humble yourself and pray and seek my face and turn from thy, their wicked ways. Then will I hear from heaven, and I will forgive their sin, and I will heal their land. Now, my eyes shall be open, and my ears attend unto the prayer 
that is made in this place. For now I have chosen and sanctified this house that my name may be there forever and my eyes and my heart shall be there perpetually. Oh, y'all get this. Perpetually in you. You are the temple. He will be there perpetually. And as for thee, if thou walk before me as David thy father walked and do according to all that I have commanded thee and shall observe my statutes and my judgments. Then will I establish the throne of thy kingdom according as I have covenanted with David thy father, saying, There shall not fail thee a man to be a ruler in Israel. But if ye then turn away and forsake my statutes and my commandments which I have set before you and shall go and serve other gods and worship them, then, I got to stop here because I got to break this first down. I got to break this down because, oh boy, it ain't just, it's not, okay, let me, let me speak right. <laughs> it's not just turning because we repent, Lord, I'm sorry, and we pray, Lord, forgive me, but that ain't all. That's not all, and, he, and it's, very, very plain. He said, if my people would humble themselves and pray. Humble themselves and pray. But there's another and. And seek my face. Oh, man. Yeah, we praying, but we ain't seeking his face. We praying, but we don't really want to turn from our wicked ways. Because he said, not only do we humble ourselves, pray, Seek thy face, and there's another and, and turn from thy wicked ways. Then will I hear from heaven. So when you do these things, God ears, he said, I will open up my ears. To, my ears are open to your prayer. First of all, we got to know that we are, again, get yourself in your house, get you, and, then, and then when I say your secret closet or your little praying space, it ain't got to be a locked-in closet. Why would you lock yourself in and you live by yourself? No, no, no. Just have an area. I'm going to meet the Lord here every day. I'm going to sit at this table, and I'm going to read something. I'm going to pray at this table. I'm going to do, that's, now you, you, you done got a place. You done got a place where God will meet you on a regular basis because he knows you're there. God is faithful. When we're not faithful, we ain't even going to be in the place today, but God is there waiting on you to come to your place. Come to your place. And a lot of times we don't go to the place every day like we, we start off, but then we, oh Lord, oh Lord, the oil in our lamps. We run out of oil. And this is what the Lord is saying. You're running out of oil. Some people, oil is gone. Like the 10 virgins I was reading about in Matthew, the, the five wise and the five foolish, because the wise brought extra, and the foolish only had a, a lantern full. The wise had a lantern full and extra. And see, the foolish ran out of oil, and that's what he's telling us. Your oil is gone. <laughs> <laughs> Your fire is gone because you can't have you can't have the fire without the oil. You need the oil you, to, to light the fire. And if you have no oil, you have no fire. Your fire is gone. Oh, hear me, people, hear me, people. It ain't, it's not just the one thing, pray. It's not just humble ourselves and pray. And it's not just humble ourselves and pray. And seek the Lord because we're seeking the Lord. Oh, we're seeking. I know we're seeking. And the Lord knows me. Lord knows everything. He knows. He knows who's seeking. But we ain't changing our wicked ways. Oh, God. Oh, God. All of these things go together. And that's the reason why. Oh, God. Oh, Lord. It's prayer time. It is prayer time. He's saying, and I'm going to keep saying it. Scripture says, God said, because what he's saying now, what I'm going to read now, 20, 
This is you don't do it. This is the this is the this is what happens if you stop or if you your oil go out, your fire done went out, the glory of the Lord is gone because you not you're not turning from your wicked ways or you're not seeking his face. You're doing some of it, but you're not doing it all. He's saying, I need you to do all of these things. Humble yourself, pray, seek thy face, and turn from your wickedness. There's nothing God won't answer for you and prosper you. That's what he said. Read it for yourself. Take, don't take my word. But now let's go to the flip side. Then... Let's go back to 19. But if you turn away and forsake my statues, you want to get out of order. You're not in order. You're out of God's order. You want to forsake his, well, them the Old Testament, them Ten Commandments. You know, you, you want to forsake his statues like they ain't real or something. Like he don't mean it. Like God just wrote some stuff down that said it's going to be here forever. Forever, ever, forever, ever, and but you act like it didn't eat and then went away. You act like that that don't apply to us today. Oh God help me. That don't apply to us. That's old testament. Oh my Lord, my Lord. God said, I am a God that never changes. He said, I am a God that cannot lie. And every word that I say. I will fulfill. I'm a faithful God. I'm a truthful God. Even when my people don't even want me no more, you know, they want the world, you know, they want to have all the world. They don't want me. They don't want me because my way is hard. They don't want to struggle because my way is hard. They want everything easy. Here we go. But if ye turn and forsake my statutes and my commandments, which I have set before you, and shall go and serve other gods, you should go and serve your money. Go serve your house. Go serve the, the politicians. Go, go serve the world. That's what he's saying. Because that, that's what it is in this day. These are gods. You have made them idols. You have made money is the root to all evil. And if I can just get your mind on some money, oh, you have just made an idol because you got to get this money. And if I don't work, I can't get this money. And I can't buy a better car. I can't buy a better house. I can't buy... I won't move up in status. People going to look at me. If my people will humble themselves. He's saying, I have set before you and shall go and serve other gods and worship them. Mm -hmm. Then will I pluck them up by the root, by the roots out of my hand, which I have given them. And this house, which I sanctified in my name, your house. That's been sanctified. See, you know, taste the water. Know that the water is sweet. You know that the well don't run dry. But again, you done turned from God. From seeking his face. Which I have sanctified for my name will I cast out of my sight. And I will make it to be a proverb and a byword among all nations. And this house, which is high, shall be an astonishment to everyone that passes by it, so that he shall say, Why has the Lord done this unto this land and unto this house? And it shall be an answer because they forsook the Lord, God of their fathers, which brought them out of the land of Egypt and laid hold on other gods and worshiped them too. And worship them and serve them, and therefore hath he brought all this evil upon them. Okay. God, He give us time, He give us grace to repent, to turn from our evil ways. Let's give God His glory. Father God, most holy, most holy, most holy, most holy, and everlasting God. Oh, God, El Shaddai, Jehovah Jireh, you are my provider. The God I am. Oh, God, I thank you. I give you thanks, Father God. Oh, Father God, let us, let us come boldly to the throne of grace. Father God, we come boldly right now. We come humbly, Lord. Oh, Father God, we come humbly to you. We have, we're, we're seeking your face, Lord. Oh, Father God, we're just coming right now. 
seek in your face. Help us, Lord, to turn from our wicked ways, Lord. Help us in the name of Jesus to turn, for we can do nothing without you, Lord. Oh, Father God, help us to turn from our wicked ways. Help us to pray and seek your face, Lord, in the name of Jesus. Oh, Father God, I ask that you help us. As the body of Christ, help us. Teach us your way, Lord, and help us to recognize you, Lord. Help us to recognize your voice, Lord. Oh, Father God, when you're calling to our heart, Father, help us to open our heart to your call, that we may walk in your way. Oh, Father God, I pray right now. I pray that we stay humble. Keep us humble, Lord. Help us, Lord, to pray right. Oh, Holy Spirit, Lord, the Holy Spirit intercedes. Oh, the Holy Spirit goes to the Father to intercede for our prayer. Let them understand this, Lord. Let them understand that God knows the heart. That, that is the Holy Spirit job because he knows what the heart is trying to say. Oh, God, I thank you, Lord, that the Holy Spirit can bring my prayer to your ears, Lord. Oh, God. Oh, God, I thank you. I thank you for correction. I thank you. I thank you. I thank you. Oh, Father God, I just praise your name and just ask you, Lord, I just ask you to keep us. Keep us under your wing, Lord. Keep our oil full, Lord. Don't let our oil run out, Lord. Do not let our fire run out in the name of Jesus. I just give you glory and I give you honor. You said you are the perfecter of our faith in the name of Jesus. That we walk by faith and not by sight. Oh, Father God, I pray for a discerning spirit, Lord. Bless your saints with a discerning spirit so they will know when a spirit is, is of not of you come toward them. That they'll be able to see spirits that is not of you. Oh, Father God, and turn and run and help us to keep it. Help us to run from anything that is not godly, Lord. Oh, Father God, I pray. I pray. I pray right now in the name of Jesus. I pray. I pray that we turn from our wicked ways. Oh, Father God, that we turn from our lying heart, that we turn from our deceptive heart, that we turn from our lustful heart. Oh, Father God, Change our speech, Lord, in the name of Jesus. Oh, touch our tongue, Lord, that we don't speak the same again, Lord. Touch our mind that we don't even think the same again, Lord. Oh, Father God, through all things, God, you can do all things through Christ Jesus. That's what your words say, Lord. I'm standing on your word. I'm standing on your promise, Lord. Oh, Father God, you said that we'll humble ourselves and seek your face. Turn from our wicked ways and that you will hear, Lord. And I'm standing on you hearing, Lord. I believe, Lord. I believe. Help our unbelief, Lord. Help that fear, that getting rid of that fear. We call down all fear in the name of Jesus. Every spirit that is not of you. Oh, God, you did not give us a spirit of fear. Oh, Father God, in the name of Jesus, we call down that spirit of fear in the name of Jesus. You don't belong here, fear. You don't belong here, anxiety. You don't belong here. Oh, God, I ask that you fill us, Lord. Fill our temple, Lord. Fill our temple with the glory of the Lord, with the Holy Spirit. In the name of Jesus, fill our temple in the name of Jesus, that we may come together, that we may reason together. Oh, Father God, draw all men into you, Lord. Oh, Father God, that we may hear truth and recognize truth, that we may not go by every doctrine, every whim, everything. We, we don't want to believe everything that we hear in the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus, in the name of Jesus. Oh, Father God, we know because your word tells us that there are wolves in sheep clothing. Help us to have a discerning ear, Lord. Help us to have a seeing eye, Lord. Oh, Father God, you said, you said in your word that you will be with us, that you will teach us. Oh, Father God, help us. Help us. Help us. Turn from our wicked ways, Lord. Help us. Help us. Only you, Lord. Only you and only you, God, that we have sinned against. You and you only, Father. For you are our Father. Oh, Lord, we are the sheep of your pastor, Lord. Oh, Father God, we are your people. We are your children. 
Oh, Father God, I pray for all your children, wherever they at it with you, Lord. If they are a baby in Christ with you, if they're just a mighty person doing the will of God in you, I pray for all your people, Lord. I pray for the babies that they may grow into meat, Lord. Help us to get up off that milk, Lord. Help us to get up off that milk in the name of Jesus. Feed us the meat, Lord. Give us the word because it's the word that keeps us. It's the word that makes us strong. It's the word that changes us. Oh, God, I just glorify your name. I glorify your name. I lift you up. I lift you up in the name of Jesus. I lift up your name on high. I bow down to you, Lord. I bow down to you. For you and you only have we sinned against. Oh, God, help us to see. Help us to hear it. Oh, Father, help us to follow. You said in your word that you will lighten up our path as we walk this walk, Lord. Illuminate our path, Lord. Oh, that we don't fall off the trail, Lord. Illuminate our path, Lord. That we'll go the straight way. Oh, Father, the narrow way. Help us, Lord, to go the narrow way. Help us that we may be in your kingdom. Oh, when it's all said and done and you done rolled up the world. Oh, when you done purified this whole earth with fire, when it's all said and done, help us to be in that kingdom. Father God, I pray right now that you teach us in this lifetime that we may live in that lifetime, Lord. Teach us how to humble ourselves. Teach us how to denounce pride. Teach us how to denounce selfishness, Lord. Teach us how to denounce the lust, Lord. Teach us how to denounce this world. This world, we don't belong to this world. This world don't own us. Oh, God, I thank you. I thank you. I don't bow down to this world. Oh, God, I thank you. Help us to not to put idols before you. Help us not to put nobody, no man, no white child, man, children, grandchildren in front of thee. Help us, Lord. Help us, help us, help us, help us to keep you on high. To keep you number one, uno, for you are God all by yourself. Oh, Father, I thank you. 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 Father God, I ask that you give everybody that watches this video, touch them, Lord. Give them a special blessing. Oh, Father God, give them a special blessing. For I know that you hear my prayer without a shadow of a doubt. I have no doubt that you hear me, Lord. Oh, Father God, I just humble myself and I bring everything that my hands may be clean, Lord. I denounce everything that is not of you in my life. I call them down as as they are. Oh, Father God, I got to call them out, Lord, in the name of Jesus. Oh, Father God, I thank you. I thank you and help us to recognize whatever spirit that that controls us, Lord. Because we're all controlled by spirit in the name of Jesus. Help us to be controlled by your Holy Spirit, Lord. Oh, Father God, if you would just decrease us, Lord. Just decrease us. Oh, God, and fill us with you. Decrease self that we may be full, full and run it over. Oh, Father God, you said your blessings is pressed down and running over. And running over. Oh, Father God, running over. Help us. Help us to just do your will, Father. Help our prayers be your prayers, Lord. Oh, God, I just pray right now. I pray right now. I surrender. I surrender to you, Lord. Oh, help us to surrender in the name of Jesus. Help us to surrender. Oh, Father, help us to surrender for you are God, almighty, omnipotent, omnipresent, faithful and true, everlasting and everlasting. For your love endures forever. For your love endures forever. Oh, Father God, help us to bow down to you and fill us with your love. Fill us with that unconditional love for people. Help us to love our neighbors, Lord. 
Help us to love and pray for our enemies, Lord, that they may be saved, that you may touch them. You may touch them. And they recognize that you are God all by yourself, that you are the King of kings and the Lord of lords, that you have a kingdom right here on earth, that we are the kingdom. We are the light of the world. We are the salt of the world. Oh, Father God, what good is salt if it loses its saltiness? Oh, we'll be no good for the kingdom of God. Help us to keep our saltiness. Help us, Lord. Preserve us, Lord. Preserve your word in our heart and our mind. Help us to keep your word that we may walk right and talk right. Teach us your ways, your cuts, your concept, your precept. Oh, God, that you don't change. Oh, God, that you don't change. Help us to be faithful to you, Lord. Oh, because you are a God that is faithful to us. Even though we don't deserve it, Lord. Oh, Father God, hear me, Lord, hear me. Not that we deserve it, because we don't. We don't. We don't. We don't even deserve to be living right now. We don't. But your grace and your mercy that follows us all the days of our life. Your grace and your mercy is just waiting on us to, to confess with our mouth and believe in our heart that you are Lord. Oh, God, that you are Lord, that you are God. Oh, Father God, help us not to just learn from everybody and everything. Because we know that the devil has, can twist the word of God. We know that the devil has the power to twist the word of God. Oh, Father, the devil know the word of God. Help us to just quit being acting, actors and actresses. Yeah, Lord, help us. Help us to be true. True to the game. True to the Lord. Help us to be true to you. Oh, Father God, I just praise you right now. I praise you right now in Jesus' name. In Jesus' name, I plead the blood of Jesus, the blood that has set us free, the blood that has set us free. We don't have to feel convicted anymore. We don't have to feel guilt anymore. Let that guilt go. That is the devil that's keeping you guilty. If you done already brought it to the Lord, let it go. That's the devil's job, to steal, kill, and destroy. Destroy your life. Destroy your dream. To kill you. He wants you to go in the pit of hell where he's going. And he want to bring everybody with him if he could. Help us to be that elect, Lord. Help us to be that elect that won't turn. Help us to be that elect. Oh, Father God, your words say, if it was possible, if it was possible, even the elect. Oh, but it ain't possible. It ain't possible for the elected person of God. It ain't possible. It's just not possible. I don't care what you've been told. But if you're walking in truth, if you're following God, if you choose to be a disciple, help us, Lord, to be a disciple. Because the discipleship is the, is the learning process. Help us to learn, Lord, from your word and your word only. Make straight way to path, Lord. Oh, Father God, teach us truth. So many false teachers out here, they're prevalent now. They're just running rampant now. False teachers, false prophets, false, 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 false. Help us to be true, Lord. Help us, Lord, that we may call on you, and you will answer. You will answer. You will answer. Oh, Father God, I thank you. I thank you. I thank you. I thank you. In Jesus' name, God will protect you. That's a promise. He said he will protect you, guide you, keep you, lead you. There's so many things. There's so many promises that God has promised. And he, since he's a God of truth and every other God is a lie, <laughs> he's a God of truth. 
He said, I, I, my word is true. My word won't come back void. My word is so powerful yesterday, today, and forevermore. My word from day one of creation is going to stand until the new kingdom come. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm, mm-hmm. Oh, God, help us to walk with your word. Talk with your word. Mm-hmm. Deliver us. Deliver us, Lord, from evil. We are in the middle of evil. This is a time to hate. Oh, Father God, help us not to love this world and what it has to offer. We don't want nothing that the world offers. Oh, God, oh, God, help us. In Jesus' name, I pray, I pray, I pray, I pray, I pray, amen, amen, and amen. Have a blessed day. And I'm coming back to Mark. Thank you. Have a blessed day. Get your, Receive your blessing. Receive your blessing. All you got to do is say, Lord, I receive my blessing. Lord, I want to walk right. I desire to walk right. Lord, I desire your will. Help me to change my will because I don't want my will. My will is always a selfish will. My will is just so I can feel better. My will makes me feel good, you know. Not my will, but thy will. Because I know that your will, your will, like Jesus said on the cross, not thy will, but your will be done. Take this if it was possible. That I can do this any other kind of way, but that's not no other way. There's no other way. So he said, I'll take this. Take this cup. Help us to take this cup. Because it's a cup of suffering. That's what it's about. It's about suffering in this lifetime. Giving up self in this lifetime. Oh, Father, break us. Break us. Break us. Break us from self. Save me, Lord, from myself. I am in need of a Savior. Oh, God. Elohim. Yahweh. Oh, Father God. That's the God I serve. That's the God who I'm talking about. My God got a name. My God got a name. Just like he told Moses, well, who Moses said, who should I say told me this, sent me? I am. I am that I am because that's his name. I am. So when we come boldly to God, you better come with, with his title. Don't just say Jesus. Don't just say, you. if you just say Jesus, okay, we read in the New Testament, you, there's a bunch of Jesus, and we're going to come across a few. You could be talking to that Jesus. I'm talking about the Lord Jesus. You got to call him by his title, Lord Jesus. Have a blessed day. Have a blessed day. Have a blessed day. And let me say this because you know what? Like I said, once we know better, we should start doing better. Again, I'm not nobody. I'm just me. I'm just me. But when God gives me revelation, and, and you know, it, it, it's for me, you know, let you be convicted. Your spirit, your own convictions should convict you. But what, what, what the Lord is saying to me now is, and it, it's, it's his concept. It's, it's just how, it's one of his concepts. As a lady of God, as a woman of God, if you are a woman of God, if you are, and you ministering, you're, you're serving, you're serving in his kingdom. But the Bible, when you learn better, you do better. The Bible says cover your hair. Cover your head, ladies. Cover your head. Cover your head, ladies. Cover your head. When you're doing something for the Lord, his concepts don't change. His precepts don't change. His order. That's what that is. My order don't change. My order don't change. So if you want to do the will of the Lord, and it's good. It's good. It's a great thing. It's a marvelous thing. But when he start pricking at your heart on doing things, dropping things out of your life, dropping things, learning things, teaching us things, cover your head when you get ready to talk. When you're talking to people, cover your head, ladies. That's your glory. 
I, 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 I can talk. I can talk. I can talk on and on, but I'm not. So, like I said, when until the Lord, to the Lord start bothering you with whatever it is that He keep bothering you with, whatever it is, because it don't go away. God chases those He loves. He gonna bring it to you in your spirit. Yeah, you gonna turn on the TV and and it's gonna mean, say say something something about it. Okay, these are the ways, and I said before, how God talked to us. You know, he talks to us in our spirit. My spirit man is feeling this way. My spirit, but no, oh God, no, that hope you know that what spirit you walking in, what spirit is talking to you. Okay, what spirit is actually talking to you? So until you are filled with the spirit of God, until you know his voice, because then you'll say, I know this is what the Lord is saying to me. You see what I'm saying? So I know this is what the Lord is saying to me. And, you know, that eliminate all that trying to be pretty thing. That eliminate all of that if you just cover your head. We ain't got to worry about that problem because that's a problem. That's a problem from this battle. <laughs> that's a problem. And then not only me, because I know I ain't the only one in the world that think uh, uh, trying to present themselves presentable to the world. That's basically what it is. You're trying to present yourself to the world. But I'm not trying to present myself to the world anymore. I'm not. I'm not. I'm not. I denounce the world. So when you denounce something, don't keep picking that back up. Don't, don't, don't keep picking that back up. But whatever it is that God keeps keep bringing up, time to time, it keeps Coming up, that is his way of communicating with you. He'll keep bringing it up. But if you keep on blocking it, you keep on blocking it, then he said, I'll just turn them to their own thoughts and mind, or to a delusion. That's what scriptures say, to your own delusion, because you just keep blocking me. If you keep blocking the Lord, turn you over to your own reprobated mind. To your own ways. You just don't have your way. Because that's what he's saying. Because you just, you so bent on having your own way. You so bent on doing it your own way. You so bent on, oh Lord, I know I, I know I can just keep talking, but I'm not. Thanks for tuning in to another My Name is Battle.